I'm Luis from Spain. Uh, I came to Poland one year ago now, so I'm finishing my EBS. And I decided to come because I was um, not working in Spain, was very difficult in this uh, situation we have there to find a job. Uh, so I'm journalist uh, in this field, uh, it was impossible to find a job, so I start to work with kids, do something with kids, I'm very uh, into sports during all my life, so through the sports I start to work uh, with kids, um, after it I was uh, working in some summer camps, and from there I knew about DBS and I decided to come. Um, at first, uh, in my uh, family, my close friends, they were saying uh, it's a crazy thing to go out for a whole year. But uh, now I'm finishing and I'm going to leave this place. I can say it's a very good experience in different aspects. So if you want to try and you are thinking on do it, I recommend you to do it. Have you ever been before in Poland? No, it was my first time for a year. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> there was any special specific reason why you choose those countries no, in the really. middle I, I of was, Europe? I like was searching east of Europe. I was searching something totally different from Spain, so no France, no Italy, no south of Europe. Uh, so I guess Poland was totally different and it's well, no, not than different, not than close. like you expect, right? Yes, yes, yes. Always there is something surprise to you here. Uh -huh. Like what, for example? What is the surprise you uh, hear? I didn't expect it was a very Catholic, very religious uh, country, but then when you are traveling into Poland, in the different um, places, different uh, regions of, of Poland, they have different religion. I, another thing I, I um, was su surprising to me mm -hmm. uh, was the difference between young people and old people. Old people are very close, and young people are very open. Also, the difference is very huge between uh, countryside and cities. Mm -hmm. What is the difference? What? The countryside people are very close also. It's very difficult to uh, get some friend relation or something. It's, it's, if it's not with the uh, young people who are living abroad or living out of, of, of these places. But in the city, it's uh, almost a, a totally opposite. Mm -hmm. uh, people are always open and uh, when the, they know you are um, foreign, they are asking for where They are very going. eager to yeah, make yeah, contact yeah. with yeah, you, and it. right? Mm. I see. All right. And you, you didn't mention exactly where Spain, but what, where exactly? Okay, I'm from the middle of Spain, just mm -hmm. in the center, a little village called it uh, Consuegra. Very nice place with the castle, meals. Uh, but I was living for six years in Barcelona, so I yeah. have like two homes in Spain. Mm -hmm. Barcelona is very cosmopolitan city. So yeah, actually, for me, it's the best city in uh, in Europe. And now I know after so Milic, uh, I hope Milic actually <laughs> is not a city. <laughs> it's a town, true. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We are in Hatka Puhatka, it's a center, daily center for kids. Mm -hmm. This is where I was spending the most of the time in the ZBS. Um, my work here consists uh, almost in the, in the most biggest part, uh, play with kids or do different activities. We also have some uh, trips outside. Um, but uh, as you see, this center is in the middle of a park and has a lot of uh, sports places. Today sports is Sunday places. afternoon, so Today unfortunately Sunday, so we yes. can't go Today in. It's closed, right? so we cannot see the computer room, for example, the cinema, big screen room, and uh, other rooms, uh, multifunctional uh, rooms. I see. Um, and but yeah, um, the work here is just this, just uh, share this time with the kids and share every experience you can have with them. So it's not just be and stay. See? But you also organize some kind of activities outside, right? Yeah, yeah. This, um, can we go there and see yes, what, uh, what there is? Uh, 
So what kind of activities do you, you uh, provide we were doing here? Some costume parties, some uh, sports competitions, but mm -hmm. uh, it was not necessary to prepare something for a long okay. time or um, take a lot of um, um, how to say it. Uh, very complicated activities. Kids are very happy doing something, and and if you are taking care of this thing they are doing, they are very happy, and they prefer actually simple games than the very complicated competition when they need to no the study the learn the rules, the rules yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Okay. Actually, this is my field. The sports place is here. This is where I was uh, spending more Volleyball on more the beach. Uh, even in the winter. Even I in the winter? Mm -hmm. I thought in winter, the sports outside was not going to be able to do it. But actually, it's possible. Yeah, yeah. For the children, probably there was kind of surprising that uh, you start to you you suggest those kind of activities outside because you know there is some prejudice that if there is winter we shouldn't go outside yeah, because it's yeah. cold so maybe you should yeah and also computers are turning on so when <laughs> computers are turning on uh, the brain of the kids are turning off yeah. <laughs> true true all right very let's, bad go. Combination. let's go there so it was like one year with those well, those children, right? They're yes, still yes. the same group? Um, no, no really. And um, at that direction, and also the team of workers here was also changing. Mm -hmm. And with this change, uh, slowly, little by little, also the kids was coming here was starting to change. But this is another topic. All right.